Hi, welcome. This is my very first ever YouTube video. I have never done this before. So join me on this journey. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I guess what people do is like studio vlogs. So I'm gonna try that. I don't really know how it works. So please help me in the feedback and comments if anybody watches this. Um, tell me what you want to see, what you want to hear, um, and I'd be happy to facilitate that to my best ability. Um, so yeah, welcome. This is uh, my studio. My name is Kevin. I'm uh, an American expat living in the Netherlands. We're living um, in the south of Holland. And for about seven years now, um, I'm originally from Portland, Oregon, a, um, like native Oregonian native Portlander, so that's a big deal, apparently, or it was, I don't know, it's been seven years. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna take a quick coffee break. <sighs> okay, so, yes, this is my studio. So, I'm an illustrator and lino cut printmaker. Um, I've dabbled in other things, of course, as most artists do, but that's primarily what I do. Um, it's been like 10 months since I have made a print, um, I carved a print, because I had a baby 10 months ago, I guess almost 11 months ago. And, um, and yeah, so I'm trying to get back in the studio as best I can. And um, but yeah, mostly I've been doing digital illustration. So I really wanna share some of that with you as well in future videos. But today I'm working on a new print, finally carving, getting back in the studio. So I thought that I could share a little bit of that with you. So this is the piece that I'm gonna start working on today. It's a sort of a kawaii, or kawaii, I'm not sure really how you should pronounce it in English, but um, style with little happy faces. And it's definitely in a style that comes a bit more naturally to me. Um, and of course I love plants, little planty babies. Um, so it's gonna be a little bit tricky because I haven't carved in about 10 months and there are a lot of small details. So we're just gonna see how this goes and um, I'm just going to be open and show you if I make mistakes, you'll see it, and um, otherwise we're just going to have fun with it. So the size is going to be A4, and I'm going to print this in a reduction style, meaning that for every layer of color I'm going to carve away from the carving block and print on top of the original set of prints. So in the end, I will actually never be able to use the carving block again but I like this format because you don't have to fuss with lining up separately carved blocks. And um, I, will, I will show you and explain as we go along. Probably this is going to be more relevant in my next video where we will go through printing the actual print. So today I'm just carving the initial layer, which will have all the detail except for the white. The white will be carved away. So a little bit about the tools that I'm using today in the studio. They're kind of the tools I use all the time, to be honest with you. I do um, vary them a little bit depending on what kind of carving material I'm working with, but today I'm working with a standard gray linoleum. And so um, my preference, which is what I usually go for, is file carving tools. They're really rigid, they're high quality. I mean, you can't really get better than this. That said, I've never used flex cut. That's something I'd really like to try in the future. Um, but I've had good success with file. Um, for me, I really like um, just how strong and sturdy they are. And the curve of the wood is just really perfect for the palm of your hand. Um, maybe I'll do another video in the future about um, the, the, number, the numbering nomenclature and how to understand um, what they say, but I'm not gonna get into that right now. Um, so yeah, so I've got my file tools. I've got, actually it's a really cold and stormy day, so I've got my hair dryer, which I'm gonna use to soften up the linoleum when I need it, because it is really cold upstairs in the studio. I'll have to show you, but it's just like windows all around, except for the wall behind me. 
<laughs> and the wall in front of me. So, um, so yeah, it gets very cold and I need to soften up that linoleum every now and again. Um, I also have my handy brush because I really don't like having a lot of linoleum pieces build up on the surface and then it like sticks to my hands and then it just gets uncomfortable. So I really often clear off my work as I'm going. And what else do I have? I often work whoop, with um, a permanent marker. I use this especially with like the print that I'm working on right now, which has a lot of small details. And then I can go in and darken the space that I've been carving to see what else I need to work on, kind of give me an idea of what the final product looks like. And then I, I can go in and like detail around it. So I'll show you a little bit that of that on the video. To be really careful because if you slip up with all these tiny details, especially when this like this where it, there's not any color and you're just gonna see the face here. It, see what I mean? It's because I'm not paying attention. But again, I'm not perfect. I'm gonna now take my largest, well actually it's not my largest, but my one that I use for clearing out um, details. You can see there. And being very careful around the eyes. I'm just gonna take out some detail. So around these small details, you have to be really careful to carve away. It's like when you use a knife and you learn when you're a kid, cut away from your body. Well, you do want to cut away from your body when you're carving, but also need to cut, carve away from any small details. Like as opposed to carving in that way, where I'm more likely to totally cut off an eye do my best to carve away. Something else I really wanted to say about me and my work, um, especially if you are watching this video, well, I guess you are watching this video, but um, is that I'm completely self-taught. I don't have any formal experience. I've never worked in a professional um, printing studio, nothing like that. Please just remember that as I'm going because, you know, maybe some of you who do have professional experience or um, training at a university or something like that and you're like what is she doing she's giving bad advice just remember that i completely figured all this out on my own and i'm just doing it the way that works for me so yeah i just wanted to say that and also to say that i really believe that anybody can do it so um if, if i can do it you can do it <laughs> So hopefully maybe these videos will help inspire somebody out there to pick up some tools and just try because it's just practice. Practice makes perfect. And also keep in mind that I haven't carved in about 10 months. So this is really like my first time carving since then. So I'm a little bit rusty. The design that I chose has very small details and I'm kind of like not going to do the most perfect job, but that's okay. So I'm done uh, doing the main carving for this reduction print. You can have a look here. Lots of small details in the faces. I, I think it turned out all right. So in my next video, we can start printing and I'll show you how you print each layer in a reduction print and kind of what the process looks like you can follow along with me so go ahead and hit the follow button and don't miss out on my next video if you're interested thanks for watching bye